the next parameter is purchasing value key this is a field that you see in the purchasing view of the material master if you go to the purchasing view enter the plan say chicago one you'll see a purchasing value key so what does this represent this represents a grouping of all these different values the reminders the delivery date variance under delivery and over delivery tolerance minimum delivery quantity in percentage all of them put together can be grouped into one number called the purchasing value key why because sap by material master design does not allow you to specify these values explicitly meaning you can't go and just put 10 or 20 or 30 here right i can't change it it's all grayed out i'm trying to change it i cannot change it the way to do that is by going here and changing the value from 2 to let's say something else say you want the third reminder or the first reminder to be five days choose this but by choosing that you're also changing the rest of the fields right so it's a grouping of some of the purchasing fields like reminders and delivery tolerances with just one parameter and how do you configure it well just go to f1 okay hit f1 on that field and select this button customizing and say continue without specifying project the reason why i'm doing that is because i don't know where the customization for this is it's out there somewhere All right it's there in material master purchasing material master define purchase value keys if i don't know the path you could use that to find out where exactly in spro you can go configure it it's not available for all fields or all areas of customization but wherever it's available you can use it that's the easiest way to find out where exactly in spro you can do this customization now go to purchase value keys and you could create new entries copy an existing entry right and then say call it z1 and then you could set any number of days you like you could customize it any way you want first reminder second reminder of course second reminder has got to be bigger than the first and delivery tolerances uh, this is say 10 percent and this is um, over delivery is 10 percent right and then that's it the number of entries copied z1 save that as a transport and that's it right now go back and you can change it from 2 to a z1 which will have the values that you have created yourself right that's a purchase value key so this is number six and number seven is plant specific material status this is very similar to cross plan material status it's the same field except it's plant specific where do you set it if you go to the mrp1 view do you have mrp1 view you don't have mrp1 mm01 coffee beans 01 let's see if we can create an mrp view yes we can go to mrp1 select chicago one plant there you have a plant specific material status what does this do so it has the exact same functionality as a cross plant material status in the basic data instead it only applies to one plant right you see it has the same parameters block for purchasing block for costing blah 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 so when you put something here typically this is used for production so if you want to stop producing coffee beans or something in one plant say the chicago plant you could use that it's producing remember it's not purchasing or you could also do a procurement ban on one particular plant yes definitely possible 
right this is plant specific material status but that about finishes a discussion on most of the major fields in the material master from a functional perspective now that doesn't mean that these are the only fields in the material master you should know there are so many other fields but when we discuss those other fields they have another story to themselves for example if i want to discuss mrp type i can't discuss that in isolation it has a little background to it and you know it has to be discussed as part of a separate chapter think like auto po mrp group these are all things that need a separate discussion so i'm not doing that as part of this chapter or this set of chapters in material master so whenever they are relevant i'll discuss the corresponding business process and discuss about those fields some of them have already been discussed and some of them can be discussed as we go forward with the rest of the chapters so the next chapter is material type customization